Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel The Waves of Your Soul where we get to explore our experiences, emotions, patterns and intuition that come in and then flow in the oceans of our lives. My name is Maureen and I am a French palm tree lover and tower reader and the intention for my channel is to help you help yourselves by giving you the insight, guidance and empowerment you need to go live your best life all thanks to tarot and oracle readings. So, as you will have seen from the title of the video today, the aim of today's reading is to have a look at um, saying hell, you know, goodbye to 2020 and saying hello to 2021. So we're doing kind of an assessment. We're leaving this year behind. We're seeing what lessons we've learned this year. And also we're welcoming this new year, seeing what this new year has in store for you, the beginning of it anyway, seeing what blessings are to come. And this particular reading is for my cancer. So... For all the cancers out there, then this is a reading for you. If you have a sun, moon or rising in cancer, in the sign of cancer, then this is going to be the, the reading for you. If you do not know what your moon and rising signs are, I suggest you do a quick Google search for like free birth chart calculator or free birth chart. You'll find plenty of websites. All you need to do is input your time of birth and date of birth that will give you um, your birth chart and on there the first information you get is usually your ascendant or rising sign, your sun sign and your moon sign and I suggest that once you've watched this video you also check the videos on my channel that are uh, related to your moon and rising sign because all those three videos together will make up the reading that's most applicable for you, you know, make all the pieces that make you're puzzled so let's get started and you know see what what um, this new phase this new year has in store for my cancers so today I'm using the Druid Craft Tarot um, because it's a very emotional tarot very um, very conveys a lot of emotion and I felt like it was appropriate for you um, my cancers out there so um, you know, we will use this one and also we'll use some oracle cards and lots of good stuff. So without further ado, let's get started with your reading. We are first going to do a little energy kind of weather report and pull two cards, first of all, to see where you are right now. So for all my cancer people out there, we'll have a look. Where are you right now? How are you feeling? What's going on? You know just generally speaking what's the situation as we are finishing this year so pull two cards the lady wow great and the sun oh my god you guys are feeling good or you know about to feel pretty amazing this, these are very two positive cards so for my fellow crabs you know um I don't know why I say fellow. I'm not a, I'm not a cancer, but you know what I mean. <laughs> For my, you know, uh, subscribers, my crab subscribers out there, you have pulled the lady, which is the equivalent of the empress in this deck, and the sun, which are two beautiful cards from the major arcana in the tarot. So the, straight away, I can see that where you are right now um, is that you are feeling quite positive there or at least there's a lot of positivity around you and you should if you're not feeling positive then you you definitely should very soon because there's this idea with the two of them of fulfillment of feeling abundant of really feeling grateful it's the idea that so i can sense that as the series ending and you're about to start another one even though it has been a very difficult year for so many of us there's this idea that for you um that you are able to, you have a better ability to be grateful for all the good things instead of holding on to all the bad things that have happened this year. And this ability to really be grateful for all the abundance and the beautiful things that have been going on in your life um, allows you to receive even more. So I can sense that you are definitely um, a lot more able than some other people at this time of year to count your blessings and to be grateful for them and that in turn brings even more positivity more sunshine more beautiful life in 
your more beautiful things in your life. With the Empress, it's the idea of being able to receive, opening your palm to receive abundance, to receive blessings, to receive uh, beauty and, you know, all like love and um, fulfillment and self-love and compassion. Same thing with the sun, there's this idea of literally the sun shining, so things, everything being beautiful, everything being bright and looking to the glass half full rather than half empty. And so I can sense that where you are right now uh, for my cancers is that you are really counting your blessings. You're kind of not wanting to hold on to all the bad things that have happened to you this year, but you're able to actually look at all the good things, even if they're so small and potentially two other people would feel insignificant. You know that they're not insignificant because you know that if you are grateful for even the smallest little thing, the universe will and you know your general vibe will emit that grateful attitude and will allow even more abundance and beautiful things to come in because the key to actually living a beautiful life lies in being grateful the more you are grateful the more you have things to be grateful for and this is something that you have truly mastered at this time of year my cancers so that's a beautiful energy that you're finding into keep doing that because it's wonderful <laughs> Um, so we're going to look at what the is the lesson that you have learned this year, or at least one of them, you know, there might have been more than one, but we'll, we'll look at one of the main lessons that you have learned this year that you can take on with you to, you know, the future and that can help you uh, empower yourself and, you know, another lesson is learned, um, you can use it to move forward. So what's one of the lessons that you learned this year, my cancers? We have the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. So this year you have learned to share your resources, to share your uh, knowledge, to share maybe even your financial, you know, maybe uh, whether it's sharing money, be giving to charity, giving to others, maybe it's sharing your knowledge, sharing your... Uh, because you or have so much that you're grateful for right now at this time of year even if you don't actually own a lot this year you've definitely shared everything you had you made an effort to share it with others and that has been a truly fantastic lesson for you to learn because it has taught you that the more you share the more you receive and we have the idea now with the empress that you are going to receive if you haven't received already then you're about to receive in major way um, because you know everything you put out out there it brings back so you've been planting seeds that are seeds of uh, generosity and I can sense that it is even more so related to the material world so like I was saying maybe you have been helping people uh, financially maybe you've been helping people with your knowledge maybe you've been giving them a hand with your time and energy like spending time to help friends I know can you know you are cancer people are a lot more empathetic and compassionate with people so because everyone has been going through so much of a trauma this year I can sense that already this year you have given a lot of your person to make people feel good about themselves with this ten of pentacles here you've helped people f you know navigate maybe you've been the friend that's been helping everyone deal with lockdown by organizing the chats and checking on everybody and sending the text and sending f your family invitations for zoom calls and being the person that is always checking on everyone making sure everyone is okay make giving your you know of your time of your energy and of your um of your person to make people feel good you've not been stingy with everything that's related to your person and um, that's the lesson that you have learned this year for you is that by doing that the more you give the more you receive is what the lesson is and especially with this empress card and the sun is this idea that all of this you've done it's not been for nothing because now you're about to reap the har you know reap the harvest of all the beautiful seeds you've planted all that help you've given people all the smiles you've given to strangers on your way out all the love you've given to your loved ones or the help you've given to your co-workers or to your family or your children all of that 
it has not gone in vain you've not you know instead of put keeping that for you you've shared it and by doing that now the universe wants you to open your palms to receive the same amount of blessing abundance joy that you've given out it's your time to shine so what a beautiful lesson to learn my cancers i feel like i don't know you should be proud of yourself because i'm proud of you you've been really doing the most to make this world a better place and that's really fantastic we're gonna put an oracle card now just to confirm the lesson for you for 2020 what was the lesson for my cancers we have blocked so there's really this an idea of like i was saying not keeping um you know everything you can share of not keeping that for you and of avoiding you know that kind of stagnation energy even if it's just sharing a smile even if you haven't been able to you know help people financially or help them with your time because you've been really taken as well i feel like you've made an effort to at, at least be kind and be um nice and being nice goes such a long way and there's this idea of not blocking this energy of not letting things stagnate and of not keeping everything for yourself so that things can actually um, open themselves and you can receive as much as you've been giving because you know even just smiling to strangers on your way to do your grocery shopping and saying thank you to the people at the cashier that can make their day and change things and you know have a huge impact so there's this idea of um, actually you know not letting of not blocking of not keeping and but actually of trying to share as much of your person as you can and it has been really uh, a big lesson so now we're going to be looking at the blessings to come for my cancer out there what are the blessings to come as the start of the new year so at the start of 2021 what are the blessings to come for my crabs out there oh we have a lot of cards dropping that was my bad so the blessings to come for my cancers out there for the beginning of 2021 we have the tower okay that's interesting and the wheel okay so things might be a little bit hectic for you at the beginning of the year but because the tower is normally a card that is quite feared in the tarot because um, you know as you can see it doesn't look appealing does it it's literally lightning striking a tower and shit hitting the fan but because it's all about context for tarot cards there is no negative or positive card in the tarot it all depends on context in the context of a blessing and it being paired with the wheel there is this energy this idea that things around you for you my cancers at the beginning of 2021 might be hectic but because this is going as a blessing you are able to navigate this properly so you even though around you feels like it's you know the lightning is and you're suddenly the towel is crumbling down and things are shaken you are protected in this moment you are not affected by this lightning and this strike you're able to navigate that with um, a lot of calm and a lot of ease because we have the wheel here and the idea that the wheel is turning the the idea of things are very things happen quickly and but also of when things bad happen there's always something good happen happening next to it same thing when things are going good and you know sometimes things are you know after that the wheel turns and suddenly we're at the bottom of the wheel so sometimes we're at the top of the wheel sometimes we're at the bottom of the wheel you know it's like the wheel of fortune when people push on that wheel sometimes they, they win the, the big cash and sometimes they win zero well the idea for you as a blessing that is that even though you might notice that around you the situations get quite chaotic you might see some people close to you go through something a little bit difficult um, it's not going to affect you directly you are going to be protected and even if it's just generally of course with everything going on with the pandemic you might see that there's a lot of disturbance you know uh, with like work situation and all of that stuff or even just day-to-day -day life there's this idea that you despite all the rumble around you you are protected and that the wheel is 
turning and that things are going to be looking up again and so that the idea is that you are in a protected bubble and just to focus on yourself and to remind yourself that uh, the wheel is turning and that you can navigate the, that situation with a lot of ease because um, because yeah there's this idea of you know being in a bubble despite all the rumble around you things falling away from you and not actually touching you you know what I mean also the idea I feel like I need to say that um, whatever happens at the beginning of next year for you guys even if there are some things that are being removed from your life like uh, suddenly you realize some things are not working anymore whether it's a relationship or a friendship or in the professional situation or however it is if you feel like some things are being taken away from you or things are stopping to work remember that it is always for your highest and greatest good because with the tower here we really have the idea that uh, whatever is falling apart it wasn't meant for you in the first place and actually you are shedding layers of um, things that have been burdening you to start a fresh new cycle with this wheel here so for some of you it might be that you know the disturbance is happening around you and you're protected from another part of you it might be that actually some things are shaking some things are being removed uh, you know some of the things in your life are being coming to an end in a quite abrupt way but it is actually uh, for your own highest and greatest good it's actually because they weren't serving you anymore and it's so that you can start a fresh new beautiful cycle that is going to be even better okay so we're going to pull one card from the oracle uh, here to see what are the blessings to come just a little bit added layer on this see can we get a bit of clearance from your guides around the blessings and we have justice okay so with here with justice card we have the idea of karma so because you've been spreading a lot of good positive karma out there really we're reinforcing the idea of remember the scales are balancing so even if you feel like things are going to shit or things are chaotic and you're starting to feel a little bit wonky remember that actually because you've spread so much good karma this year things will uh, balance the universe always has your back and to remember to have faith in the fact that there will be justice and that you um, will be rewarded we do have the empress card we do have the sun card so you will be rewarded for all your effort even if things seem quite chaotic and and um, unexpected and tumultuous don't be scared is what i'm hearing you shouldn't be scared because things will balance themselves and you're going to be okay we have the wheel here that says you're going to come out of it on the good side and you're going to be you know coming out okay you've got those two cards protecting you as well so don't be scared things will write themselves off the balance will be always uh, even that's something i'm hearing that you need to know to round up this reading, we're going to see what's kind of coming generally for you at the beginning of 2021. Because we do have this tower card here that has, you know, has been, a, we know things could be a little bit um, tumultuous. But at the same time, the fact that you're going to be protected. So we need to know what's coming at the beginning of 2021. Just generally, again, weather report like we've done earlier. For the end of the year, this is for the beginning of the year, what's coming for my cancers at the beginning of 2021. Ace of Cups, beautiful. Okay, so you definitely need to not be worried. Even if things might feel like a little, a little bit tumultuous around you, do not worry because you have got, you've just pulled one of the most beautiful cards in the whole of the tarot, which is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups, imagine it as the, it's the Holy Grail. It's the idea of a gift from the universe. The universe is handing you a gift. It's this beautiful idea of, um, it really is like a divine gift. It's a gift from your guides. It's a gift from your the universe. And it's this idea with this Ace of Cups of this beautiful new energy coming into your life, beautiful new love coming into your life. It's this fresh start of feeling and everything related to the emotions. So it's this outpouring, literally we've got the waters flowing here, outpouring of love, of compassion, of feeling good, of beauty, of hope, 
of um, empowerment, of light, of all the you know all those beauty of joy, all those beautiful feelings, they are outpouring. The Ace of Cups is really this idea of a divine gift, of you being suddenly handed this fresh new energy, this beginning of a new cycle that is like a present, and it's something to be so grateful for. So, like I was saying. For you, my cancers out there, because you've done so well this year at trying to make people feel good about themselves and at trying to do your part to uh, share your of your time, of your person to others, you are now going to be rewarded in 2021 with this beautiful gift. So it could be a new relationship, it could be new opportunities coming into your life, it could be the deepening of the relationship in your life, it could be meeting uh, new friends or uh, even deepening the friendship and, and then blossoming to even more beautiful uh, friendships. It could be expanding of a family if you plan on doing that. Um, it could be even if it's just personal, it's this idea of a new cycle of your life where you feel so good about yourself, where you, everything just feels like it's flowing, things just going for your own and highest and greatest good. It's a breath of fresh air. This is what the S of Cups is, but it's just a beautiful healing energy. I'm hearing the sense healing as well. So if you had some uh, healing that needed to happen, this is a time when it will happen. Um, so very soothing, peaceful, beautiful healing energy coming into your life for my cancers and the idea that you are going to be rewarded of all your hard work. Do not be scared of all the disruption and, you know, kind of storm going around you because even if it feels like it's just really disrupting and really scary, things will balance themselves and at the end of the day you are going to be given this beautiful divine gift and things are going to be going really well like this is just like i said this card is very beautiful it's one of the most beautiful cards in the tarot so you need to take um, faith in that and remembering that you are divinely guided you are protected everything is working out for you not against you and the universe has your back for you my cancers which is fantastic so we're going to pull one last little card we'll get the little little last message for you to wrap up the reading and we have the grasshopper spirit and it says take a leap of faith so exactly what i was saying remember that the you know do always go forward don't look back um things are going to be going really well for you so don't be scared have faith and also keep moving forward do not let yourself uh, distracted by what is going on around you you know like the grasshoppers they always jump ahead they don't jump sideways or they don't jump backwards it's the same that's required for you guys keep moving forward don't get distracted by what's going on around just keep your eye on what you want to achieve and remember to have faith and remember you are guided and protected at this time and uh, always so that's the reading that i have for you my cancers i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up as it really helps my channel make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed as there will be plenty more readings where this came from and in the meantime i am sending you lots and lots of good vibes and keep navigating the waves of your soul bye